Hey dudes, welcome back to the mothership. This is it. We're going on a bike camping trip up to Maine. We're gonna go to Portland for a couple days and then we're going all the way up to uh, Bar Harbor. Um, Acadia, but Bar Harbor area. Uh, new to the channel, it's Christopher. Hey everyone. Chris is coming along the ride. Borrowed a bike, we're ready to go. Then we got our, uh, our all stand in here, Tony. What's up dudes? I'll show you guys my setup. It's This is called ghetto setup. I've got uh, my X-Fill. I got my hunting pack all strapped together with some bungees. I'm excited. I got a tent, sleeping bag, all my clothes. Uh, Tony went a little bit further. He's got uh, saddlebags now. He's got his, uh, I don't know what that is. I think that's his pad. Yeah, He's got another tent, sleeping bag, and then Chris. Chris has plenty of storage, so we're not even gonna talk about Chris. He's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is it. We're gonna head on, head on up and uh, I'll show you guys uh, some of the trip up there. All right, uh, there is no footage being filmed, as you can see, because, Anthony, what happened on our two and a half drive up to Portland today? Uh, well, it turned into a five hour ride and it poured rain the entire way. Yeah, it's a little wet. So we have all of our stuff out uh, drying, as you can see. I think I had about a quart of water in my boots. Yeah, uh, that's, that's a true story. Our gloves are all wet. Anthony brought rain gear, so he's a smart person. I think we're all going over to Harley tomorrow to buy full suits of rain gear because it might rain the rest of this trip. Um, Stay tuned, guys. This could get more interesting. All right, dudes. It's been uh, it's been a challenging trip, that's for sure. We uh, we got screwed by rain, uh, as I mentioned before. We uh, we decided we wanted to leave a day early to try and beat the rain, and that turned into us taking a two and a half hour drive and turning into five hours of traffic in torrential downpour. I didn't have rain gear, Tony did. It was pretty awful. So, we kinda just screwed around at a hotel last night, and today we got to our Airbnb in Portland, now we're gonna do some brewery trips and then hopefully make it up to Acadia in the next couple days and uh, get this adventure going. So uh, in front of me is Tony on his Lowrider S. Then there's Chris on his borrowed bike. Looking pretty sweet. He's got all the Harley bells and whistles on that bad boy. That's a Harley special for sure. Unfortunately, I pulled my uh, communications with Tony so you can't hear him, but he's there. He can hear us. Hi, Tony. We're going up to uh, Maine Brewing Company, one of my favorite breweries in uh, in Maine. It's awesome. So uh, hopefully the weather is nice enough for you guys to actually see it. Let's get some riding. Dudes, Fine. cheers everybody. Chris is Italian, so he doesn't believe in beer. Cheers. What are you drinking, guys? Red wine. Oh, we have, yeah. We have like a, uh, like a golden over All right, time for some beers. Hey guys, here's an update. So as you can tell, there's not a lot of riding going on. Otherwise, I would have uh, been recording it. Uh, it seems like weather is going to continue not to cooperate with us. It's supposed to rain all day today, which is uh, Sunday, and tomorrow, which is Monday. So tomorrow was the day we were supposed to go up to Acadia, get our campsite, and uh, get ready to do some camping and riding and all that fun stuff. I think, unfortunately, we've decided we're actually going to nix that idea. So camping's kind of off the table at this point. Um, doesn't really make sense to go up there and just sit and rain in a tent and not be able to ride anyway. So we have the Airbnb tonight. Uh, we're actually getting another Airbnb in Portland tomorrow, 
And then instead of Acadia, the camping there, we're going to get a Airbnb on the water in Bar Harbor, which is right next to Acadia. And we're gonna use that on Tuesday and Wednesday, which are actually supposed to be really nice days, and just ride up and down the coast and, and try and get some of the, you know, the cool riding that we originally wanted to do, but unfortunately no camping. So today, like I said, rain, we're probably just gonna hit up some breweries, food trucks, you know, do the whole Portland thing, and probably do the same thing tomorrow. If, uh, if the weather cooperates, maybe we can get out and do some riding, but it seems like this is just gonna be a heavy, uh, heavy drinking, food trucking kind of a, kind of a weekend. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated as, as things progress. Status update, sun's out, it's beautiful. It's gonna be 70s, over 60s today. Chris and Tony are getting ready for their Starbucks because if you're on a Harley, you gotta stop Starbucks. <laughs> Bikes are all packed up. Four and a half hour drive, I think, up the coast. It's gonna be a good day, boys. It's gonna be exciting. I'm, this is the best part of the whole trip right now. Chris looks tired. Tired. I'm not used to waking up early, but you gotta do what you gotta do. He's sweepy. <laughs> Right, dudes we are in Rockland Maine this is when the trip starts to get real nice and uh, you know the scenery comes out again this is kind of a old-school coastal town type thing up in Maine this is what we're gonna see the rest of the trip I'm stoked the weather's beautiful it's warm Chris forgot to put his helmet on already it's uh oh man look at all these boats look at all these boats I'll try keeping as much of the cool uh, 
this is for you guys we're going up so you can kind of see what we're seeing oh yeah and if you like lobster here's the place to be basically every mile there's another lobster shop Tony and I have already got lobster uh, rolls and lobster tails on, on this trip but I I foresee it being more in our future again today yeah he just said yes please